By far the overwhelming event in bond markets worldwide has been the savage bear market in developed market bonds. Um, in fact, the World Government Bond Index, the WIGBY, is currently in a drawdown of 29% uh, in the history of the WIGBY, which isn't terribly long. That is the worst ever drawdown. It's lasted 458 days. In that environment, South African bonds have done remarkably well. In fact, the dissociation from US Treasuries has never been seen to this extent before. If we go back about two and a half years to the start of hard lockdown, South African 10 year bond yields were about 11% uh, and US bond yields were about half a percent. Uh, today, South African 10 year bond yields are still about 11.5% and US Treasury yields are over 4%. We have been immune to this, which is quite remarkable. And it probably goes down to what pricing anticipated two, two and a half years ago. Over in developed market equities, I think there's a new generation of analysts suddenly learning what modified duration in equities is. We understand this really well in fixed income, um, but rising interest rates uh, decimate equity valuations of so-called growth stocks, which have long durations. Locally, the um, MTBBS just recently uh, released, was very well received by, by the bond market. Um, we might have hoped for slightly better news on ESCOM, but the fiscal position is a whole lot better. As for the uh, third quarter of 2022, our funds did well um, in both alpha and beta terms. In most of the alpha, our attribution analysis shows came from some slight flattening of the yield curve following the extreme steepening at the beginning of lockdown. So it's been a fairly good quarter for our clients' funds. Mm -hmm.